Hi, I'm Sam Albright, and I'm going to show some of the Altos tools and how easy they are to use. This is the Model 90, and it's a T-square cutter. This cuts all our mat board down to size. You can use it for paper, foam core boards. Works great for thick watercolor paper, and especially mat board. And I'm also going to cut the mat using the Altos 4501 mat cutter. Put these two tools together, and you can just do just about any kind of matting. So I've got one of my paintings here, and I need to figure out how big that's going to be. I'm going to cut a 16 by 20 mat. We've got a um, full-size sheet of mat board here, and uh, I've got it on a couple of pieces of scrap. The Model 90 is a T-square cutter. It has two pieces um, that fit together, and there's a scale along here that goes out to 16, and this scale uh, along here, which you can use to measure, you know, it's just a great straight edge, uh, you can use it, and that goes out to 42 inches. So we're going to cut our 20-inch cut here first, so let's measure 20, and I'll just use a standard uh, tape measure, mark that off at 20. Then slide the Model 90 right over till that blade is going to be right where that mark is. Then the cutting head slides along the straight edge and it goes up and down with this handle and there's a vertical cut blade in there and you can set that at different depths for different materials. So for mat board I've got it set and I'm just going to hold it down, pull it right along, make sure I cut all the way through and there's a perfectly cut uh, mat at 20 inches, and that's the full-size piece of mat board. Let's set this one aside here. Now I need to cut off the 16. Slide it right up underneath the edge there. Now I've got it so I can use the measurement right on this scale here. It goes out to 16, which is half of the 32, so uh, you use that 16 quite a bit. And I'll butt it right up against there, and then make sure I'm right up against the edge of the mat board to my 16-inch measurement. And I can cut off my 16 dimension. And there you go. Okay. So, and I've got an extra one there, too. So the 4501 is a very simple tool uh, to use. It has an aluminum straight edge. Uh, you can adjust the border width using these pin stops. There's holes and pins, real easy to, to set whatever size you need. The way I'd figured this out, I wanted three inches on the sides and the top, and then four inches on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and write those right on the back of the mat board. Now I can slide that right underneath the straight edge. Here's my straight edge that the cutter handle will slide along. Now I need to know where to start and stop. So I've got this set on three inches. Then I draw a series of lines around the back. And these are my start and stop reference lines. I just draw them right on the back of the mat board. And these three sides are the same, so it's easy to do that. Now the bottom is a little different. So it's going to be out to four inches. So I can move it over to the four. And if I needed that wider, four and an eighth, four and a quarter, any different dimension you need, it's real easy and fast to set. Now I cut from this line over to that line. Cutter handles right here. The blade hangs out, and so you can really see the tip of the blade when you're cutting. And there's no guesswork. I'm just starting with the tip of the blade right on that start line, and I can see right where I'm cutting. There's a lot of space around there. Slice it in keeping the handle down flat, and push over to my stop line. It's real easy to see. There's lots of space around the blade so I can see where it is. And there's actually a mark on the blade holder that uh, you can use as well. Now, we can easily flip it right back to our 3-inch dimension. Start the cut right on the start pencil line that I drew. Slice the blade down, and then keep the handle flat. Hold your straight edge down, and then push right over to the stop line. Now you want to get a single mat 
uh, down first where you're uh, maybe want to do double or triple mats later, you know, but learn how to do a really accurate single mat. Here's my start line. Here's my stop line. And those lines are uh, designed to be in the right place to cross the cuts on the back of the mat because we're crossing that 45 degree bevel cut to give you a perfect, perfect corner on the front. If you can see those, they're absolutely perfect corners. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but that's perfect corner. And let's make sure that it's the right size for our painting here. Absolutely.